<laughs> uh, what is the force? I have I have a really good answer for that. It is a volunteer run, collectively owned, free arts and events space, masquerading as a vegetarian cafe. The the forest started in the summer of 2000. As I understand, some friends of ours didn't want to. They finished university and they didn't want to do that thing where, well, at least in America, you go on your cross country road trip. Just basically, essentially, they just wanted a place where they could hang out, and so they decided to build it. And it started in uh, Westport, and everybody, like five or six people, or maybe even up to a dozen, put in about maybe three, four hundred pounds each to pay for a monthly lease and to get the place kitted out. And the idea was just that they'd have performances and art and kind of little things like that. <laughs> The kind of cafe idea came about um, just by accident. They, they, well, they sort of realized that they didn't want to charge for events, for people to come into events, and they start, sort of realized that they didn't want to charge performers to perform. So they thought, oh, well, we'll run a kitchen and we'll make some money back on the food. And they didn't really have an inkling that people would want to volunteer or do anything like that. bit rough and ready and the toilets leave a little bit to be desired but um, apart from that it's a nice chilled out atmosphere they've got some good bands that play uh, you get to bring your own alcohol which is fantastic you only have to pay a corkage fee so that's good and uh, yeah it's just like a chilled place I like it. People come to us and they ask a lot of questions about how to set up this um, and we don't know how to set up this because we Nobody did, you know. It was um, it was grown, uh, no pun intended, and organic. I mean, I hate these words, but yeah, it was it was it was grown from kind of just a small idea, and everything kind of got piled on top. Twenty two, no, twenty two years I've been homeless in Edinburgh. Well, I've been coming a year for about for about three years. I just, I just love the place because, because you don't get any bother in there. It's a, it's a varied bunch, which is always interesting, and there's always you know interesting characters floating about. <laughs> Just for live music, I think it's like the best place to come to. The forest is funded. Um, the forest isn't funded, I guess, is the, the answer. I mean, the forest is charged rent and the forest makes money, and the forest makes money by selling food and drinks. And we don't have a liquor license, so the amount of money we make selling food and drink is not very much, um, to be honest. Um, but it's enough to help us get by and continue to do our projects. Uh, we also have incredibly generous and lovely landlords. A lot of people think the building is owned by the university. It's not. It's owned by the Edinburgh University Settlement, which is a, an organization that's over 100 years old. And basically what they do is their kind of charitable mandate is to buy space in the city centers and let them out at reasonable costs. If we had to pay commercial rents for this space, uh, we'd, we'd be dead. We have a, re, a, a music recording and rehearsal studio. Uh, we have a dark room. We have a workshop for people to use with loads of paints and tools and things. Uh, we have a kind of crafty room which is used for workshops uh, and things like that. Uh, we have a free event space, a free art gallery, uh, so nobody has to pay to perform or anything. The art gallery is curated by local artists. Um, we have a very tiny record label. Uh, we have a publishing uh, wing, Empire, which makes books like The Golden Hour. Free works, we, we provide free workshops, so Spanish workshops, crocheting workshops, Arabic lessons, tango lessons. Uh, we give out grants. Uh, every month we give out 100 pounds to just anybody with a cool project.
Our goal, kind of, as far as I can see it, uh, has always been to sort of um, to say yes as much as possible.